Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way. I'm Deb, and you are here in my sewing nook today, where not a lot is happening lately. Not really. But first of all, let me thank Jen with Today and Jen's Sewing Room for hosting this collaboration of um, Sewing Sisters, as what we're called. And I think that's very appropriate and a very nice label. I'll be a sewing sister to anybody that wants to take me on. <laughs> So anyway, thank you very much, Jen, for starting this collaboration and keeping it going. And it's growing, you know, so much. If you're, in, if anybody watching this video is interested in joining the collaboration, just go to hashtag Friday Sews, check it out. And if you're interested, join in the fun. There are a lot of people participating in this and some oh, marvelous sewists, let me tell you. Yeah, I've learned a lot. So, well, first of all, let me tell you about the little sewing that I've done this week. And little is really stretching it far. I didn't do a lot of sewing. No. Did, can you tell <laughs> from what I've said? But I did want to get a few things accomplished. One of which, well, let me, I pulled this off the table. I have all the Christmas decorations up. I have the Christmas placemats. On the kitchen nook table okay that's the placemat I made four of those and then I decided just like with the fall placemats that I made I made a little mat for the centerpiece and I did the same with this one this is the centerpiece that I just kind of did up you know just on my own the back is all green and the front is that but it suits it oh it's dirty it has fuzz on it sorry about that <laughs> there but it um, it suits its purpose okay and I have a small Christmas basket of pine cones that sits on top of that you can't really see the mat itself because it's so small but it's it's appropriate size for where it's put on the table and then I wanted to try my hand at some mug rugs everybody is talking about mug rugs lately and I just wanted a mug rug I really didn't want to make it big enough. There are some out there that you make uh, a size where you could put a, a mug and then also maybe a little cookie or cake or you know some a treat of some sort. I didn't want something that big. I wanted something just for the, for the mug or the glass, whichever. So I came up with this using my fall placemat materials, okay, just to try it out. And I did glean this off of somebody's um, Facebook page and I can't remember the lady's name but I like the this is all quilted this is you know strip quilting and I liked that no problem I had trouble putting the binding on I guess maybe just such a working on such a small piece like this I'm just not used to that as opposed to a larger quilt or a lap throw but this is what I did and that was the back okay so I only did two of those and I'm gonna try making some more and do it a little bit differently. We'll see how that goes. But I, I think they're okay. I mean, it's just two pieces of material, you know, and then I made strips out of both of the materials, put batting in between the front and the back and put a binding around it. That was it. So that's what I've sewn this week. And that's, that's all that's been happening back in this sewing nook. But I still am looking at a mess over here that I need to clean up. How could that happen when I wasn't back here very much at all this week? It just magically appears. I don't know how, but yeah, a mess always appears back in my sewing nook area. I need to get it cleaned up. And I will. Today, well, I think... Yes, I did talk about it before where Jim, our dog, Little Ginger, has been sick this week, but she's feeling much, much better. Thank goodness, you know, we took her to the vet on Tuesday. We were there for several hours. The vet did a, a wonderful job checking everything out on Ginger. And with the treatment that she got there and the treatment she gets at home, she is pretty much back to her old 
how they call, I told people, she's back to her old bossy little self around here. And that's the truth. Yeah. She has bouts of colitis every so often. It just, it just flares up. And sometimes I can handle it here at home with medication that I've received in the past from the vet. You know, I have some on hand usually, and I can always get a refill on that when I need it. I did treat her with that, but it just wasn't doing the trick. So I decided after a few days of trying to treat her on my own, it was time to go, you know, take her to the vet. And that's where we went. So it's like I got William over a cold flu bug of some sort that he had just after Thanksgiving. I got Ginger over her colitis bout just recently here now. She's feeling much better. Hopefully nobody else comes down sick. <laughs> you know, I, I need a little break here before the real holiday season kicks in. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. Today I did meet a friend of mine, Jeannie with Lead Me to Peace Jeannie. I'll leave her channel, site, our address, whatever, below here in my description box. She's the one that actually got me started or encouraged me to start a YouTube channel. Okay, that's how we know each other. And we know we used to work at the hospital in the same area. And we've known each other for several years. But we met up today. It is their 50th anniversary. Once again, happy, happy, happy anniversary, Jeannie and Dennis. You know, 50 years, that's quite a milestone. And they came over to check out the antique store that I go to. We met up with them there because we were going to go to lunch after that. So I did go in because Jeannie was looking for something that I showed in my video a couple days ago. And I showed her where it was in the store. But while I was looking for what I had originally filmed, I found a couple other little things that I, I just had to buy. One of which is this little tree. Can you see it? Let me, it's so cute. I remember stopping at the booth that this, where I found this today. I don't remember seeing it there the other day, but I did buy a couple of other bulbs from that booth. And today I bought this. It lights up, it changes colors. I just thought it was so cute. I had to have it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and it's kind of a, well, I think it's kind of a broken snow globe, maybe. Maybe it never was like that, but it's got little particles inside here in, in like a water base of some sort. So I think maybe at one time it may have been a snow globe. I don't care. I like the lights. And it's such a cute little tree. So I had to have that. And I passed by the booth where I bought all of my glass ornaments. The bear, the bear, the tree where these glass ornaments were that I bought the other day was almost empty. I didn't buy all the bulbs that I saw there. I left a few of the glass bulbs behind and this bulb was left. I just had to have that too to add to my collection. Just this one. These bulbs went real fast. So that's what I bought today at the antique store. <laughs> and, oh, and then Jeannie and I were talking there too that I, I was wondering what made vintage. You know, how, they were classifying a lot of things like on the price tags as being vintage. And I didn't really know what time or how many years that was you know, if it was a real antique or how old it was. One of the ladies who has a booth there overheard us and she says, nowadays, well, you know, there's Art Deco, that's 30s and 40s. And then like the 50s, 60s, that's your vintage period. And then from there, if it's over 100 years old, then it's antique. That's what they consider. So that's what she told us. And I said, well, then fine. I'm just vintage myself. I'm not an antique yet, but I, sometimes I feel like I am. <laughs> but anyway, from the antique store, we went to lunch and we went to Texas Roadhouse and it was a lot of fun. It was, a, it was really a great time. 
Jeannie and Dennis had never been to that Texas Roadhouse. I, I don't think they'd been to any Texas Roadhouse, so it was a, it was a treat going there for lunch. And on Fridays, that's the only day in the week itself, you know, the work week, that Texas Roadhouse is open for lunch. All the other days of the week, the work week, it's only open in the evening, and then on the weekends they have their, you know, afternoon openings too. But we made it for lunch today, and it was wonderful. Of course, we had supper for lunch, because we had, you know, heavy steaks, and I had a chicken, it was a portobello mushroom chicken dinner. It was good, really good. And a huge sweet potato with marshmallows on top. I have leftovers for later, yeah. But we had a great time. So it was a nice afternoon, and it was wonderful to be able to spend Dennis and Jeannie's 50th anniversary with them. A lot of fun, yeah. So, but the rest of this weekend is going to be pretty quiet around here. Uh-huh. It seems like after doing all the decorating and taking care of the sickies in this household, I need a little bit of free time to just relax you know some me time I need some me time but anyway not too much sewing this week I hope you all had a great week in your sewing rooms out there and hope you had fun doing it because you should always have fun working on a project sometimes projects can be frustrating sometimes it might not turn out the way that you want it to but you should always enjoy the time that you're spending doing that you know working on your hobby because there are so many positives, so many things that turn out really, really good that you can enjoy and keep progressing and doing more. Okay? Yeah. Now, let's see. This next week, next Friday, I will be in class at the sewing studio. We will be, let's see, what's the class? It's the tea towel class. That's right and I have to dig out the fabric that I bought for that because I don't even remember what it was that I did buy. It's making a, a different type of a tea towel. So we'll see how that goes. But that's coming up on Friday. Not too much else in between then and now, really. But I'm sure we'll come up with something that's fun to do. And no more trips to the vet, <laughs> for sure. So anyway, I hope you're all having a good one out there. You take care, and I'll be talking to you again real soon. But that's about it for this Hashtag Friday Sews. Bye for now. I almost forgot something. If any of you out there would like to exchange Christmas cards with me, I would love to do that. I love to receive cards and letters, you know, friend mail, that type of thing. If you're interested in that, email me, okay? My address is dhinfl at aol.com. That's D as in Deborah, H, Henry, I, Indigo, N, Nancy, F, Frank, L, Larry, dhinfl at aol.com. You give me your address, I will give you mine, okay? Let's exchange Christmas cards. Okay.